It's a big deal because people already consider Facebook one of, if not the most important thing they do on their phones. And for a very large population, this is going to be incredibly convenient. Plus, it has a whole lot of interesting elements in how you use texting that's going to make that easier in itself. And it's very global. That's the thing I always have to remind people to think of Facebook globally, not based on what your kid does. Okay, fine. Why isn't it on my iPhone? It's only on Google. It'll never be on your iPhone unless Apple changes the whole way they think about software because f Apple would not let somebody come in between the user experience the way that an Android phone will allow. And speaking of, Mark Zuckerberg yesterday when he <coughs> unveiled this new home, he really kind of took a shot at Apple. He said this is about making phones for people, not for apps. Well, I don't think that was taking a shot at Apple per se. I think he would love it if he thought that Apple would allow him yes, to do this. Yes, but the Apple home He's, screen is apps. He said this is about this putting is people pictures. first, not apps first. Right. I mean, the Android phone has been about apps as much as Apple, but the point is that Android is an open, much more open system that allows a lot more manipulation by the carriers and by the, the software makers. Yeah, our guest host is our Lawrence Haverty of Gamco. Of course, this is his wheelhouse. Do I want people first? Or apps first. I, I think you want uh, you you want the people first. I, I use the analogy of the car, uh, the the red light check engine. It is inducing the user to act, and sometimes you see the red light and you don't act. Well, let's say instead of the red act, it's your mother-in-law, your ex-wife, or the boss you hate. You're going to move to that uh, car repair place to get rid of that. So here, if you reverse it, what, what Zuckerberg's doing is right out of the Procter & Gamble playbook. He's trying to induce habit. You turn on the phone, you see your friends, you pop on your friends, you're in his ecosystem, mm -hmm. he has the engagement, eventually he's going to turn that into ad dollars. The world is going mobile. There's just no question about it. The second derivative is accelerating. Uh, Zuckerberg gets this. Uh, he's probably way ahead of everyone else. The stock right. is okay on a pricing basis, and uh, uh, the the idea that this is global. So you'd buy is, Facebook right here? Absolutely, absolutely, David. I know you're this not guy's buy, good, by you, the way. You're, I know you're not buy, hold, sell, and all that. But you, you've maintained an enthusiasm but over the dominance of to Facebook. To the degree I am, I'm definitely buy. If you if you think long term, you've got to own Facebook. I mean, the company is moving more and more towards a central position in global communications. I'm sorry, that's a simple statement of fact. And, and when you look at why they're really doing this, it is as much because of the users in Indonesia and South Africa that was and Brazil my next question. as yeah. it is because of your kid. And that's the thing you've got to remember. And those people are coming online in a massive way. Facebook is almost always the number one app they use. They're going to love the idea of having it right there when they first turn on their screen. And i got to tell you, I might even love it because I, I like everybody else, I'm texting right and left and texting is a kludgy activity on a phone even though it actually is increasingly the most popular thing people do and one of the big innovations they've done here is put the messaging right in front of you so you can message in the middle of any app and not go out of the app that is a really cool thing because basically they built a layer that's going to be with you no matter when you're using the phone it's not only when you turn on the phone I'm curious about the relationship here with Google because in one sense Facebook and Google are direct competitors yeah. for online advertising yet if this thing takes off as you two suggest it will, that should be a good thing for Android. Well, it's a good thing for Android because it's going to basically prefer Android over the iPhone unless, as I said before, Apple really changes its thinking about how it regulates this stuff. So on the other hand, you can look at it, Google and you say, how come Google wasn't able to put messaging yeah. first the way that Facebook did when they took their first look at operating systems for mobile? Larry, is Facebook generating cash like Apple? We talk Apple, 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 Cash Mountain. Is there a Facebook mountain of cash? I don't think it's quite as, as good, Tom, because... Uh, they don't have what, a retail stores. What, well, well, what they're doing every now and then, there's an Instagram, and he, he pops out a billion dollars buying something, and it's very, uh, you know, it's very unpredictable. The business itself is inherently profitable. Remember, in the Internet, and the thing that, that fascinates me is they zap bits. They're not giving you anything like Procter & Gamble. And the, the incremental profit on zapping a bit ought to be somewhere around 98 or 99 percent. When an internet company is working really well at top notch, mm -hmm. uh, they're generating at about a 40% rate, incremental profit on revenue. Google's going down as low as 15, they go as high as 45, they, right. it, it jumps around. Uh, th these are wonderful businesses. Google and Facebook, in the next five years, are going to take all the incremental yeah, demand I, I, that's of global right advertising. You wrote this last night, decide, okay, is this a Yahoo killer? 
What, how does Marissa Meyer react to Google, Facebook, Facebook? Well, Google, you know, Google, Yahoo's Google, been Facebook. getting a lot closer to Facebook since Marissa got there. So there's a, you know, this this battle of the giants is very interesting. I'm a huge admirer of what Marissa's doing at Yahoo. So I think that's a buy too myself. You know, and then what Microsoft does is going to be an interesting question. Um, I don't think it's a killer, but I do think I agree that. Google and Facebook are the companies that are increasingly going to be gathering all those rents together. I mean, come on, that's those companies have already been. Facebook is really entering Google's league, I think, technologically in some ways with this announcement. This was a very big announcement for them, showing what a sophisticated technology company they are. Because it's an interface innovation, it's a technology innovation, it's very sophisticated. What does it show about Mark Zuckerberg and his leadership of this company into the new <clears throat> mobile world? To our Twitter question, is he the next? Steve Jobs. I, well, you know, give him another 20 years and then you can answer that question. He's very, very good at anticipating what we're going to want next, which is Jobs' is great, you know, talent. Um, but yeah, I think he's great. 